This week in Multinational Division South, the Sledgehammer comes to Iraq, the Chief of Chaplains celebrates a century, the USO Open Shop in Basra, and Swine Flu gets stopped in its tracks. The 3rd Infantry Division's 3rd Heavy Brigade Combat Team has taken the reins from the 172nd Infantry Brigade. They will advise and assist Iraqi forces in five provinces. You see Iraqi leaders who understand that the responsibility for taking care of their populace really resides with them and that we're there to support them. The Chief of Chaplains stopped at Camp Basra to honor the 100th anniversary of the Chaplain's Assistant. Carver says Chaplain's Assistants help ensure troops can worship freely and bring hope to those in harm's way. Regardless of where our soldiers go, wherever there are boots on the ground, there's going to be a Chaplain or a Chaplain Assistant near them, reminding them uh, to have courage, reminding them that God is present. Basra's 34th Infantry Division's medical team vaccinated more than 4,000 troops with the mandatory H1N1 vaccine. Symptoms of the virus are flu-like, but the virus can become deadly. Just a couple of soldiers uh, infected with this virus can spread it to mass numbers. The largest USO in Southwest Asia opened in Camp Basra. It is the first USO in Iraq modeled after the USO in Camp Bure in Kuwait. It is set up to give troops a taste of home. We actually have uh, a better place to go now, have uh, more of the same uh, commodities that uh, states would have or whatever, so it's kind of like a escape from the day-to-day -day life or whatever that we do out there. The new USO cost over $400,000, all raised by donation. From Basra, Iraq, I'm Private David Graves. Thank you for joining us.